All right, so this took me the better part of an evening to figure out, and I thought it'd be easier to make a video um, instead of typing out a bunch of instructions in a tutorial. So essentially what we're trying to do here is take a local folder, and by local I mean on my um, laptop or desktop, and sync it up to our Raspberry Pi web server. So in a way I'm using my, my local setup as like my development, and then the Raspberry Pi server would be like production. So the first thing, and to be 100% honest, like it, this took me a while to figure out, and I don't even know if this is the right or the best way. So if I'm doing something um, wrong in terms of permissions or security, like please let me know. Um, I just found that like this way works. So first things first, I've SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi because I'm running it headless. And I'm running Jesse, so I noticed that it kind of locks down um, root access or pi, which I'm, I'm totally on board um, with. So I created this user AZ, which is me, but I'm just going to show you kind of um, how I created uh, this user and kind of the full the full setup. So first things first, let's add another user. Add. Cool. Okay. You don't have to fill any of that out, it's all optional. And then I can say groups, and I can see spell that Raspy Bakery belongs to Raspy Bakery. Okay, so my first thought when I got stumped here was, so the, the, the ultimate issue I was running into is my new user wasn't able to write, um, using rsync wasn't able to write to the Raspberry Pi server's like um, directory. So I was like, well, if I just add it to sudo, um, that'll fix everything. But what I've come to learn is whoever owns the directory is able to obviously publish to it. So I was like, I don't know why that took me so long to figure out, but if I go look who owns um, my public directory, I can see AZ owns it. So for instance, if I wanted to give access to my newly created um, user, I can just say right. Okay, so now Raspy Bakery owns this. Okay, cool. So now I can come over here and in my projects folder, I just have an index.php file, which is right here. And um, now I can basically try and rsync up. So let's go ahead, rsync a, let's see, I wanna do a push command. So a um, projects example site and then raspy bakery at my pie address um, and it's going to end up going to our okay should ask me for my password here which is what we want to see here Connection unexpectedly closed. Let's try it again. If I could type. Hmm. like a caching issue or something. I don't quite get it. Um, I just had this working. Let me go back and cheat and see if I have... I was, I was um, experimenting with the uh, trailing slashes. Uh, let, me, let me try this. 
So that's saying like the trailing slash on example sites, like everything in this folder or directory. Let's see if that gets us where we want to be. Okay, cool. I think that might have done it. So now if I just simply bring up a window and I go to 10.10.3 example site, 403 forbidden. Okay, not quite what we wanted. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we see example. And there's nothing in it, so it didn't write the index file. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this trailing slash. And we'll try one more time. Hopefully this gets us where we need to be. Okay. Yay, it worked. Okay, sorry, that was a little painful at the end. But basically, all you need to do is change the newly created user, um, give them access to this, this folder right here. Um, another way I guess you could go about it is like doing groups, but I kind of think if I mean, I don't know, Just I guess it just really depends on what you want to do, but it's like if you're just going to have one person deploying to your server, like there's no reason why you shouldn't just have like your, your main user, like your admin user here and kind of do it this way. So hypothetically speaking, if I were to say and save that and then issue this command again, should our sync up that change to see if it's working. So that's how I figured out how to do it. Um, of course, like I said, if you have any suggestions or feedback, hit me up in the comments.